Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this coffee cup reading. This is a coffee cup reading for everyone, for the whole collective. And it's from this Saturday, the 26th, August 26th, till September 2nd, for the whole week, 2023, and for each and every one of you. Let us begin. First and foremost, you have a beautiful cup. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just turn it around and show you. And we will begin. Wow. Mm, very interesting. And this is quite intriguing too. So, okay, let's start from this section here. Hmm. Okay. It's amazing. This is connected to the ending. And there's negative here and there's positive here. So the outcome is positive. So thank God for that. It does look like some of you may be having financial difficulty or going through some sort of financial difficulty. Don't let it undermine your faith in yourself, in the universe, in your, in God, in, in whatever your belief system is. You are going to go through some challenge, but you're moving on. You're moving forward. And then ultimately, this is the beginning of the cup and the end of it, like before the end of September, the end of September, it's all changing and it's all becoming positive and there's money coming in. So uh, I had to tell you that because the beginning is connected to the ending. So um, yes, don't don't worry too much about having difficulty or situations going becoming a bit complicated or business is not doing quite well. I do see something is sort of like uh, a major change or a major event. May a few events are bringing on some changes. It looks to me like somebody's heart is closed off. You don't want to you want to avoid any possibility of pain. There is some pain that you want to avoid by all means and some of you have been in denial and you've really got to be, you will come to terms with accepting the reality of your problems. I, I feel like there is a situation that needs to come to an end but you're taking all kinds of action and trying to compromise to resolve it. But it doesn't look like it is going to be resolved. It looks like it's a situation that has to end or it has reached a, a level of ending. There is deception. So it could be self-denial. There could be some sort of deception. There's also envy here. But there is also um, uh, a situation where you need to make proper decisions. You might be dealing with someone very rigid. Rigid? Uh, what's the word? Um you know, somebody a bit complicated also. Uh, but the, f the fact of the matter remains that, um, you know, you could be thinking that you might have many choices, but you really have one only. Only one is the right one. All the other ones will just bring on trouble. Running away from these decisions or this major one particular decision isn't going to be easy either. It might make things worse. So you have to be really, really realistic and um, honest. Mm. You've just got to be very uh, cautious and tread carefully. Selfish decisions can be very destructive. So be very, very cautious on what you do. There is only one correct answer. And, and I feel like that answer is to be, wait. To be quite honest, I'm seeing a clock timing. Maybe it's not the right timing. Maybe it has to end by itself. Maybe by forcing things, you might not be able to succeed. So denial is there again. Denial. There's tears and there's denial. Mm, very interesting. Transformations are going to change this situation. I see changes. I see someone difficult, someone very complicated. Um, and I see three also. I'm given three. So there could be three, three days, three weeks, three months from now. Three to six, actually. Three to six, I'm seeing. Three to six. And it shows like you're leaving problems. You're leaving these problems behind and you're moving forward. For some of you, there could be a judgment, an unfavorable judgment. And some sort of a marriage situation or lawsuit uh, for work or business related 
some of you are overwhelmed with crisis and you're leaving a situation behind and you're moving forward because you feel that you can't cope with it. It's just a little bit too much. A lot of you are reaching to that level. Not everybody, not the whole collective, but in this area I'm seeing, um, you know, you don't want to deal with this situation. It's just becoming a little bit too much. The future is going to, is looking much better, that's for sure, than, than now. This will eventually um, come to a, a resolution but I do feel like some of you are leaving leaving um, an area leaving towards uh, something better there is an ending without a doubt something is coming to an absolute end for some of you there could be a, a big change of life there could be someone uh, passing on that is also um, because I do see the death card which here it's not the death card it's a coffin so the coffin is about endings but it's also about completion it's about completing a chapter of your life and putting an end to it a karmic chapter that was just too much just way too much it's coming to an end after that there's a lot of personal growth you're leaving the past behind you there's a lot of change you're being in control and focusing more on what's important in life and you want to simplify your life you're removing a lot of clutter at the same time a lot of light is coming in after this karmic completion it literally karmic completion because i do see uh, that being displayed it was an ending like a celebration to a karmic it was like a very karmic situation a situation that was just too long and too much i do see a great victory overcoming all the obstacles that go with this karmic ending that there's a lot of obstacles that you'll be cleaning and cleansing and removing and fixing and repairing and documents and and papers and agreements it's not easy that's for sure what on earth is that wow i gotta get this closer to me just to see what on earth is that mm. looks like some sort of a horse or an antelope anyway um i do see a chariot also here a great chariot um, and I'm seeing uh, the letter Y here also very strong and torn between two whether you should do this or that. But ultimately there is um, there is someone supporting you with some problem. And I'm seeing that you are going to be uh, controlling a situation. Willpower and discipline are the way to go. And I feel like a great victory is going to be yours. Focus at the battle at hand now. What to do? How you're, Because you're releasing yourself from this chapter. Like I said, it was a comic one. You're releasing yourself. So just know how to tread. You do need to tread carefully. But you know what's amazing about this? There is a great celebration. You're taking so much uh, satisfaction with the way you handle situation, the way you did everything, the way you accomplished everything. You're establishing your reputation. You're establishing, uh, you know, respect. Respect is earned highly. This could be connection and connection to Chinese zero of the monkey, Chinese zero of the horse, Chinese zero of the rooster, Chinese zero of the snake, uh, Chinese zero of the dragon, Chinese zero of the rat, and the monkey again, Chinese zero of the dragon, the tiger, and Chinese zero of the ox buffalo. There's music, celebration, there's a party, there's an invitation. You could be going somewhere, you could be invited somewhere, but there is a, a certainly a lot to be thankful for there's a lot of gratitude there's a lot of su success being celebrated a new understanding that's making you very happy there's a new understanding maybe some sort of a contract or agreement or something but there is abundance and there is happiness you feel energized you feel strong you want to build friendships or you have got good strong friends behind you and now they're very important. A sense of community I'm seeing, like, like mingling together with others and becoming very strong. Teamwork. And there's team spirit um, doing things, moving things. There's activities. There's also invitations to social events. Uh, some of you could be uh, thinking of um, doing that. I see number three here and number 18. Number two. 3, 18, and 2, they might be very significant for some of you. 3 is connected to the Chinese year of the tiger. It's connected to also uh, March and April. No, no, sorry, March. What am I saying? It's, the reason I said that is it's connected to Pisces and, and um, 
Aries, April. <laughs> Aries, I was connecting it to April. The two is connected to February, connected to Chinese zero of the buffalo, 18, connected to nine, which is the monkey, Chinese zero of the monkey, the goat, the rat. And um, I also see very important here, uh, life is speeding up. It's like, you know, things were, de they were, they were stagnant and they weren't moving. And then all of a sudden, everything is going faster. I think once you remove that, that rigidness out of your life, it just became so speeding and you are becoming the leader. You are leading the way. It's like you're leading the pack and there's a sense of freedom, a sense of accomplishment, a sense of, wow, you're so happy. A lot of strength and a lot of compassion, both together. You are going through them from September all the way to February, from September to February. A lot of strength and a lot of compassion. You have been already very strong. You have been enduring so much. Time for you to be released. Time for you to be happy. Inner strength is just booming, becoming stronger and, and, and more. You're trying to control a situation and you're doing it very calmly. Now you can because you the, the, the hard part was removed out of your life. Now, like I'm looking further, like further than September. So that's what the coffee cup is. It does that. It just shows you more and more. You are looking for support also. And there is someone that's going to give you that support. Someone of fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They might have fire in them. Someone wonderful that's going to be very supportive. There's someone very, what's the word about them? They are filled with ideas. They're very, very practical and very spiritual at the same time. They do support others. They're very supportive and they are going to support you big time. Fire energy, Sagittarius. Sounds like a Sagittarius and sometimes Leo and Aries, but more Sagittarius. I feel Sagittarius more and Leo more. You may be feeling a bit restless and not quite comfortable. Something might you might need to look into. There may be something that isn't right with your health. It needs attention. If it's restlessness or uncomfort or pain that you might be experiencing, very important that you do look into it. Luck. Luck is coming. Luck. You, you can be assured that luck, you won't need any luck. Luck is coming and it's coming big time. It's almost you'll feel like you have a lucky charm with you. That's how lucky you will be. Focus on abundance because you will attract it now with all this luck. Great luck. Adventure and travel at the same time. For some of you, they're considering adventure and travel. Money. Talking about money. Remember that we started with financial difficulty and there was need for money. Now here I'm seeing large sums of money coming out of nowhere. I see a beautiful spider. Spiders all to do with money. I see foundation, changing money, big money, like luck I see usually with um uh with the cards, you know, four of four, number four here, very strong. And I feel like four is to do with the year, Chinese year, year of the rabbit. This year, 2023, is that. And it's going to give you a lot of money. It's about quick success and big money, number four itself. For some of you, there could be inheritances. Some of you could be investments. Some of you could be just winning a lottery or something. Have a look at your money reading. That might tell you. Some of you are signing a contract, perhaps, or an agreement. I do see signatures. I do see authority involved, lawyers and things. But there is money coming. This money is making your dreams come true. And I'm seeing September to November. November is shown big time. Changes, healing, and rise, big rises. You're elevating financially. Financial security also. There's a new adventure. Some of you are starting your own business or wanting to do something new. It's going to be spectacular. Trust that you have got the ability to succeed and to be prosperous. Have faith in yourself. Don't lose faith. Believe in yourself and you will reach your goals. Activate that, you know, that entrepreneur within you. I do feel like you're not alone. You are spiritually guided. I see a beautiful temple and I see archangels here and there. One, two, three. Uh, I see uh, also that... This chapter, one chapter that ends, is taking you into the next chapter where there's a lot of rewards and a lot of spiritual growth. 
you need to take advantage of a situation very quickly. You need to act quickly, take action quickly. Something wonderful is happening. But action is needed to be taken quickly so that you can take advantage of a situation and you don't miss out. You need to really know that there are resolutions. There might be somebody standing in your way, but there are resolutions. Resolutions to to take action to this in regard. It could be a business. It could be a love situation that you need to take action in regard. But whatever happens, there are great news coming, important news, important information coming, and that is going to support you to take uh, the step that's necessary. You're meeting someone very very hard working someone reliable and very gentle they're very gentle in their way it's an opportunity to enjoy and to embrace these qualities because these are the qualities that you have also they're within you you are a hard worker too and you are gentle also it says here that it shows that somebody is standing there looking out for you an angel someone wonderful looking out into every step that you're taking. Be in the present now, and you can dream about the future, but now it's important that you are in the present. I feel like success is coming big time. It might not be there now, but it's coming. You're going back to what you love. You're going back to reevaluating your desires, your needs, what you love doing. You're going back to that. You're free to do that. And I'm seeing again number three. Wow. So we're talking March maybe. March. Um, I think there was March somewhere. I don't know. I did feel March. Very strong. Number three. Someone of Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Either one. It could be someone you're meeting. It could be someone very... Uh, comfortable financially I feel like you are being free I feel like you are going to meet someone of earth energy very strong earth energy love I'm seeing a strong bond love building slowly and it's reached to a peak now and once a chapter ends it's, it's going to begin again I feel like you're beginning with someone someone wonderful I also see um, I'll just bear with me my dear viewers I'm just fixing uh, my glasses sometimes they fog up and I've got to just give them a quick wipe okay now I'm seeing this is the important sector here there's a beautiful dolphin great news truth is coming supporting you I also see Q the letter Q for quilt Q for quail I'm also seeing the letter B Mm, B, connected to the Chinese ear of the buffalo. Branch, box, B. Then I'm seeing O. O is connected to the Chinese ear of ox. Oh my God, the ox or the buffalo. They're called two different names, but the same. So this uh, doubles up the Chinese ear of the ox or buffalo. It is connected also to... Um, yeah, that's amazing. And O could be also olive, orange. That's another one. Then I've got E here, the letter E. Um, e endings, elevator. I'm trying to think of words. S, I'm seeing a snake, Chinese zero, the snake. Very strong here. The snake is connected to abundance, connected to spirituality and healing. It is connected to love, healing because of love. S for snake, S for Scorpio, for Sag, Sagittarius. Then I've got U. Is that a U or a V? No, it's a U. Uh, I've got U. One, two, three U's next to each other. U is very powerful here. Umbrella, under. I'm seeing an X here. Those of you who might be connected to someone that might be um, have a name with X. X is a, is a name in some cultures. Uh, X is there also. X for X-ray. Then I'm seeing um, a honeybee and a horse next to each other and there's a H there so honeybee and horse wow I'm seeing an N here an N for no or never I'm seeing the let number three again that's very bizarre this cup has been all about three three is all about March it's about the Chinese year of the tiger it is also about Pisces and Aries are both connected to three to March and, and we saw that before March remember March 
and I had to go through this like deja vu it's happening twice wow for those of you who are born in March this is like a really double triple call out from your guardian angels um, amazing and those of you born in the Chinese year of the tiger hmm okay so there's Jiva Greece also and goat Chinese year of the goat uh, there is a one two a's a for um, apple and antelope something like that mm. and then there's y for yes yellowstone there's two y's there v there's a v here and two t's v for victory violet t for thailand tiger again tonga and um what else is there there's a v and a t we called out f there's an f here F for France or Fiji and T for Thailand I said that T again so twice T uh, D for dog Chinese ear of the dog mm, Wow Chinese ear of the dog um, Delta divine D and then there is M M for Chinese ear of the monkey interesting monkey uh, there is a D for dragon and there is a dragon here Chinese ear of the dragon Chinese ear of the monkey and then, uh, of course, and these are initials also. They can be initials D and M. And then there's number seven here. Some number seven is connected to the Chinese year of the horse, connected to the month of July, which is Cancer or Leo. Very intriguing. This was very deep and very elaborate. And I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Um, I think I did cover everything that I could see. Everything. Yes, I did. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It was spectacular. Absolutely, absolutely spectacular um, i do hope you enjoyed it like i said do give me um thumbs up if you do and share with me all your stories i love hearing from you and let me know uh, what you think i wish you a lot of abundance a lot of happiness and a lot of love and light namaste blessings and namaste